Hello and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Solo Stories. This is the third time I'm trying to record this. I attempted the first time, went through the first story, OBS shut down. Or not shut down, stop recording. It told me I had too much disk space. I didn't see that message before. Then I tried again. Same thing happened. I deleted some stuff for some memory. Same thing happened. Uh, for the second time, uh, I figured that it was a memory thing. That was not the case. I don't know what I did, but I'm hoping this... Uh, I'm hoping this time it works. But other than that, let's actually get into it. So it's been quite a while since they actually put in a new solo story, if you don't remember. It's been... I don't know, over a month? Right now, they're going back to the... The Shiranui, the Shiranri, whichever way you want to pronounce it. And they're going with the Mayakashi. This was a deck that came out when I was still playing, a little bit before I stopped. I thought they were pretty interesting. They're a synchro deck that uses zombies or the graveyard and just keeps kind of replenishing itself. I thought it was pretty cool. I never played it because I don't play zombies, but I thought it was interesting. Scheming Creatures. Ah, the sins, the sins. At the bottom of a stagnant, dark hole, curses echo through the air. Ah, how sinful, how abominable. This is a spirit world, the realm of the dead, a place where negative energy in the world quietly stirs. In this world where all sorts of things such as the undead roam, the beasts of the night hold the greatest power. Among them, the ones that possess the most fearsome power were called the Mayakashi, an ordinary supernatural entity that is not as powerful as they were. Uh, they are, would not even be able to reach the real world. The spirit world is a small and dark. The leader of the Mayakashi, Yoko the graceful Mayakashi, aiming to take over the vast world inhabited by humans repeatedly invaded the real world. However, in the real world, even after a lapse of time, there were the Shiranui-style warriors that hunted the Mayakashi. Some prayed to the gods to exorcise the supernatural beings. Others cut them down with flaming swords. In the long fight, there were moments where it looked as if the Mayakashi had conquered the real world. However, in the end, their plans were always stopped by the Shirinui-style warriors. Yet, they did not give up. The Mayakashi regathered their lost power and waited for the arrival of another opportunity, patiently, like a stalking tiger. I just want to say, they didn't actually put a background card. Um, I, I don't remember, it's been a while. But usually they put like a background card as the main premise or something. So I don't recognize what they're using as the background. I, I just noticed that. It's just a small thing. I'm wondering if they just kind of didn't have anything. So they put that circle dark void thing. All right, here we go. So, I'm going to try to read this real quick. <clears throat> what makes a Mayakashi deck unique? These are monsters that unleash a myriad of effects by utilizing special summons from the graveyard. Daki, the graceful Mayakashi, is a tuner monster that can be special summoned from the graveyard if a Mayakashi monster is special summoned from the extra deck. By taking the advantage of its effects, you can aim for a high-level Synchro Summon triggered by a single Synchro Summon. In addition, Yoko, the graceful Mayakashi, has an effect that allows the player to select one monster on the opponent's field to destroy when special summoned from the graveyard, making it a powerful countermeasure against the opponent. 
So basically, she's your main deck card that you want to go for because as long as you keep Synchro Summoning, you keep getting her out. She's really good in that way. Some may say busted, and she would be if it wasn't only for my Akashi. All right, he's going to have me summon Hajun. Hajun is going to have me special summon uh, D D Daki with this you can synchro summon. Yep. Obero Gurumo. Here we go. Synchro summon. And now, because we synchro summoned, here comes out Daki, the special summon herself. Heck yeah. But wait, she's still a tuner. She's still on the field. We can synchro summon again. So we do. We do as we do. And Bwah! Synchro Summon. Wait a second, we Synchro Summon. Which means she can come back onto the field. And she's still a tuner, so we can Synchro Summon again. You see how stupid she is? <laughs> she's like ridiculously good. Like if every deck, every Synchro deck had something like this, it would be so annoying to fight Synchro monsters even more than usual. And now she comes back out on the field. What? Another Synchro Summon? How can we ever? So we can go all the way to 11, but only with my Akashi monster, since he's basically the final one, a level nine. There's nothing left to go into, so we just go into battle. And then attack. Hooah. And then attack for that game. It's pretty cool. I I like that they're kind of quick with the teaching of the whole how the deck works. But I do kind of wish they went more into detail. I understand that they're limited on what they're doing. And they're like, hey, I want you to figure it out. But, you know, giving a little bit more than just, hey, this one card special summons itself every time you synchro summon. So just keep racking up until you get your boss monster. We're not even gonna talk about his effects. Why would we ever do that? She's the only important one, which is kind of true. But still, we need to know what everything else does. Can we get a little bit more details on the deck? Cause some people really don't wanna read and they really wanna play the deck. And I'm one of those people who don't like to read. So I just press buttons until it works. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you could, you know, have us do the tutorial and keep telling us things. But some people, as long as you summarize it, they will read it. Just a heads up. I just kind of wish that they went a little more in detail. Because just showing one card, kind of lame. I mean, they showed three, but whatever. Do, do, do y'all agree? Let me know. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and check the rewards. This is fairly simple. Let's just unlock that. Uh, so for the Mayakashi, it is the sleeves. It looks very nice. Honestly, the card looks great. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I like the emblem. It looks very good. And of course, the 200. <clears throat> Alrighty. Let's go. From where one could not tell, but a roar of ambition fury could be heard. I forgot which voice I was doing, I'm sorry. <clears throat> we are the flames of the spirit world. It is time to extinguish your meager embers. The Mayakashi are born into the spirit world. They have still been unable to take control of the real world. Mayakashi know that the world of humankind is ever-changing to fulfill their long-held wish of conquest. They have devised various countermeasures. Even a Mayakashi with powerful spiritual powers can only achieve full strength in the real world when it is night. For the Mayakashi, sunlight was considered an abomination and therefore, to conquer the real world, they must plunge into an unending night. 
during the day, they transform into human form and observe the average man of the real world, as well as the movements of the Shirinui style. Sometimes they deceive the foolish brainwashing them and feeding on them to gain power. Sorry, I reading it kind of confusing me on how it should be read. <clears throat> By doing so, they accumulated spiritual energy for their impending great invasion of the real world. Well, how many years has it been, asked, since the fierce battle against the Shirinui style, just when the threat of the Mayakashi was starting to fade from the memory of the people? The shrine of the Shirinui style was destroyed and the seal of the Mayakashi was broken. This was done by none other than the Mayakashi who remained in the real world after the previous war. Yuki Ono, the Ice Mayakashi. The leader of the Mayakashi, Yoko the Graceful Mayakashi, has returned with incomplete memories and powers. The return of the Mayakashi is near. And when they come, another battle with those of the Shirinui style will ensue. Well, isn't that nice? They're trying to make an unending night, which actually doesn't sound too bad. The sun gets kind of glaring, you know. I, I hate when it gets on my TV, so I, I understand where they're coming from. Stick it to allow you to purchase eligible cards. Please check the eligible card pack screen in the shop. I didn't know about this. It must have been an update. I'll have to check that out later. Anyways, fires of the world and a new pack. Sure, let's see. What did, did, did I get a pack? I did not get a pack, but it allowed me to unlock them. But yeah, so this Mayakashi is pretty good and they don't explain it. Uh, Shirinui, they didn't really explain too well either. Shirinui Skill Saga. I was doing Skill Saga, I found super annoying and you, I think you put this in the Mayakashi deck as well because it's so freaking good for its synchros. She's also really good. I like her. But anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, just before I end this video, if you have any comments or anything like, Hey, can you stop doing the voices? They're kind of annoying. Just read them how is. You know, people in the comment section always misspelling how they and also not fully finishing their sentences. It's fine. It's just how people are. Um, yeah, just let me know. Because, like, if y'all find the voices annoying, I do it just because I try to make it a little bit more entertaining. But if you find it annoying, just let me know. I can definitely just kind of read it as I'm going like this. It, it doesn't bother me either way. I might accidentally do a voice or two because I find it entertaining in itself, but I'll attempt to stop if y'all request. Just something I thought of. But other than that, if you enjoy listening to the solo story without actually going through the solo story, please subscribe, leave a like if you did enjoy the story, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day, night, evening. Either one's fine.